Hi, welcome back everybody to another edition of In Tune Hop In. This is issue 14. How about we hop in? So, we'll be talking about the Veniverse. Now, the previous before, I, I believe it was a hop in issue, I think six or seven, when I talked about what is this whole Veniverse at the end of each comic. There was Captain America in a Venom symbiote suit uh, asking for the hero's help and a war that is to come. So we finally get the issue that comes out, Venomverse. And it's a six issue series, which was pretty good. The storyline was good, the plot was great, the artwork was amazing. Definitely a good read to pick up. Uh, what we find out is there's this alien race chasing after the symbiote. Uh, venom, pretty much uh, the symbiote venom, and it needs the venom to in order to survive. Now, a hint of it pretty much came out to be that it's because um, the, the aliens are fighting this particular race that's always killing them, so they need backup, and that's why they go for venom. Now, the um, uh, thing is that there's different characters, so the main ones that we've been following, if you pick up the individual um, comics, uh, Wolverine, uh, both Wolverines, so Old Man Logan Wolverine and Laura uh, Wolverine, um, they also had the Hulk, which wasn't a comic that came out, but they mentioned the Hulk, um, Black Panther, uh, Deadpool, Gwenpool, uh, uh, Ghost Rider, and various other uh, characters that they use for the storyline, uh, and especially the main storyline like uh, Venom. So um, they combine. They what they do is they take over the Venom symbiote. Now, whoever Venom is already connected to, the aliens use that as source to feed off of, and it's it's getting out of control, it's starting to get bad. They're in a dimension where there's nobody left alive, and so it's, it has a lot to do with Doctor Strange, and has to do with uh, various different people. Um, it's a great comic book, like I said before. Now, all together, it's going to cost you about $15.96. You can obviously wait for the trade to come out because that's how much the trade is actually going to be, about that much. Uh, all right, moving on. The Power Rangers and the Justice League teamed up. Now, this was a crossover uh, event. Previous, like, uh, the Green Lanterns and uh, Star Trek and whatever. So this takes place of uh, the Power Rangers meeting up with uh, the Justice League. How it all came about was uh, Black, the Black Rangers act uh, wind up um, getting into some kind of uh, misplace uh, due to uh, Lord Zed. And he winds up uh, somehow, some way, they wind up in the DC universe. And the Justice League, uh, obviously, the first two issues, they they come, you know, they're like, "Who are you? And uh, what are you doing here?" And it's just, it's all funny moments, especially when it comes to the Power Rangers meeting Batman. We all know how serious Batman is and whatnot. Um, the storyline and the plot was great. The only thing I have to say kind of bad about it was is because it took forever. Now, granted, this isn't DC's main uh, storylines to follow, you know, with the big, obviously, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, uh, you know, and, and all the various other comics that come out of DC. So it was kind of pushed back. Now, it's only six issues. So I kind of hope that it was going to be done pretty quick. It started in January of this year, 2017, and it just wrapped up, uh, let's see, it's October. So it just wrapped up about mid-September, early September. So it, it wrapped up, um, but the storyline was great. It, it's, uh, the artwork was good. Uh, definitely a good read. Um, you can definitely wait for the trade to come out. Um, it's not something necessarily to read, but if you wanted to read a crossover with the Power Rangers and with uh, the Justice League, uh, the two main villains is Lord Zed and um, Brainiac. So it's a nice twist between the two and 
how they all came together. Uh, all together, that's going to cost you $23.94. Again, you can wait for the trade back to come out, um, which might be the same price or might be a little bit more cheaper. So, only time can tell. Next comic we'll be talking about is I Am Groot. What an amazing six issue comic. Uh, pretty much with following Groot who gets separated from the Guardians and winds up in his uh, own adventure, his own journey, if you will. And it's amazing, it's cute, and obviously you're going to be reading a comic book that says I Am Groot the majority of the time. So we, we have some people who um, obviously understand Groot's language and they you know pretty much you know he says i am Groot, i am Groot, and they say you know like they're asking him a question but they're letting us know exactly what it is he says now Groot winds up landing on a planet in a pocket dimension where uh people come here but there's uh you know a lot of crazy stuff going on uh and the villain per se doesn't really want uh whoever comes to their their dimension world he doesn't want them to leave so what he does is he uh, takes control over the the emperor or the protector of that that dimension or planet and he makes everybody even the person he took over uh, forget what their purpose was and what do they you know normally do uh, but originally that planet was to if you're you know, you're just traveling, you land there, you pick you're pretty much a rest stop planet, you get back in space and you be on your way, but they didn't want that because there was a crazy uh, storm or uh, some kind of crazy thing came and attacked the planet and to prevent uh, people from bringing that, uh, that uh, destruction to the dimension again, they decided, that one person decided to you know, keep them away. Uh, but it's a great adventure. The artwork was obviously, like I said, for the previous two um, comic books, was great. You know, it's cute. It's uh, something very interesting. You know, uh, to see Groot on, Groot on his own and to uh, be able to understand him through different characters and still be able to laugh because this is baby Groot. We're not talking about grown Groot. We're talking about baby Groot, and uh, it it kind of um, keeps in touch with. Uh, the original storyline with the Guardians of the Galaxy, but just separates uh, group uh, from the, the rest of the team. Um, definitely a great read. Now, this is also going to cost you $23.94. A little bit pricey, but again, like I said, you can wait for the trade to come out. It's only been uh, six issues, so definitely a good read. Our next and last comic is... Vigilante. Now, this is a new comic coming out of DC, but it's not in the DC universe per se. It's uh, Vertigo, and DC has different uh, comics that, you know, there are DC product, but from a different dimension, I guess. Um, it's Vigilante. Uh, it's a story new to me. It's only three issues. I'm waiting for the fourth, and obviously, you know, to see how far this goes. Uh, it takes place, um, I guess, in our modern times. Uh, somebody, uh, you know, is trying to find out who it was who killed his girlfriend. And not only is he trying to find out who it was, but now he's trying to get revenge because they killed his girlfriend. And he gets help from different uh, people who used to be uh, vigilantes. There's no superhero powers going on here. It's just a guy trying to find out who it was that killed his girlfriend uh, and what they're doing in his community, which led his girlfriend to be in the situation she was to wind up being killed. So it's it's a great comic book so far. Uh, like I said, it's only three issues and I'm waiting for the rest to come out. I've been getting in contact with uh, my comic book store to uh, you know pretty much ask what's going on. Uh, when's the next issue coming out if he has any information on it um, It's definitely a good comic book. Uh, hopefully your comic book store will have it, it right now all together It's only eleven dollars and uh, ninety seven cents, so you won't be really wasting your much uh, Spending too much money on this one. I would say wait till the trade comes out But the story isn't over yet like I said three issues now um, But definitely a good comic book to pick up extra local comic book stores for vigilante uh, I'm pretty sure there's like an older version of it, but X for, you know, more recent version of it. 
All right, so that ends up another edition of Hop In. Uh, as you can tell from the background uh, that I am not where I normally am. Uh, due to an altercation with uh, the neighbor next door, they decided to light their house on fire. Nothing that we did to provoke it or cause it to be, they just did it. And uh, fortunately, our house wasn't uh, on fire, but smoke damage and smoke damage, if not taken care of right away, it could lead into some serious things. So uh, the insurance has come, has come out and it got people working on the on the home, my home where I'm staying at and uh, we're here that's that's why the background is different uh, my prayers and uh, you know go out to the families that are are dealing with the uh, fire that uh, has happened to their homes and uh, out there and uh, I pray uh, that uh, everything is okay and happy to hear that majority of the people uh, were able to make it out um, prayers go out to you and yours um, yeah that's pretty much it I've been uh, working so uh, that's kind of why I haven't been really been able to do uh, hop in issues but I was able to continue on doing Kev's weekly pool which I will be doing again uh, Friday because that's when I have off from work uh, but many more videos to come. I already got my list down for the next video uh, for Kev's uh, hopping issues. So let me know if any of these videos of hopping issues have been uh, useful. Have you been able to go to your local comic book store and pick up these comic books that I've mentioned? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to know and uh, hopefully we can talk more about this. Uh, a lot of great things is coming out. Uh, eventually, like uh, Thor and the Justice League, so I might do a review on that. Uh, Alright, as always, I've been Kev, you've been you, let's stay in tune.